In today's video I'll be repotting these acacia trees into a smaller pot creating an awesome new landscape. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do before you start to repot is to prepare the pot. Uh, in order to do that you need to cut out little pieces of mesh uh, to put over the drainage holes. Um, you can either just put them in and then put some uh, gravel over them to hold them down or what most people do is you tie them in with with a piece of wire so what I like to do is you measure just a not too long piece um, then you hold it in place and you put one side in one other side then at the back you just fold them flat what I sometimes do is I make a little loop so that in case it falls out it can it gets stuck on the pot so yeah then just like that the the mesh is secured so let me do the other side with both screens in place in the pot the next step is to put a little bit of gravel on top of the screens so that the soil won't fall through uh, when you water it. So I just use a little bit of fine gravel and you can just put it over. Okay, next step is to put a layer of soil in. I'm going to use uh, the soil of the, from the previous potting because I've only potted it last year uh, and the soil is still still fresh. It's There's nothing wrong with the soil yet. It's not old. So I'll just be going in, take the soil In order to get these trees out, I'll first have to take out these uh, ground cover that I used for instead of moss. It's quite lengthy and they grow wild, so <laughs> but they don't have a lot of roots and that's why I use this instead of moss because if you cut it uh, down small, it will look like grass. Also, when you repot, always make sure you have a, bot a bottle of spray water so you can keep the fine roots nice and moist so it doesn't dry out while you, you work on the rest of the tree and or another tree. So you can see the, the roots are quite nice. Now that I've removed all the, the ground cover, it's a lot easier to take out the rest of the tree. Now that all the trees have been removed, uh, we can work on them individually because for instance this tree had a big big taproot which I couldn't take off because 
all the feeder roots or the, the fine roots are below so you first need to encourage more roots uh, more roots a bit more above then you can start taking off these tap roots but I might just be able to take off one and that is why I, I had it before wrapped around a rock so that we can make use of these roots while I try and get more encourage more roots growing a bit higher up so but I think I'm gonna start by taking off some of these roots like this long one over here like that this one is off let's see what else we can do untangle it a bit more a few moments later so the best placement for three trees is usually you group two to the one side and then one on the other side I got my final design um, okay I think something happened with my camera stopped recording not sure what it recorded but uh, I guess we'll make do whatever life gives you if it gives you lemons make a lemon tree anyway in this case I have black monkey thorn trees not lemon trees but okay once you have your design you have your trees in you have soil on top and just make sure there's no air pockets in between the the roots with the chopstick Now I'm going to put in some ground cover.
that it's planted I'll give it some uh, pruning there's a, a branch growing into the trunk so I'll be removing that that branch and then this tree will now compete with this one so I'll take off this trunk over here of the branch which is making it small uh, smaller and this guy uh, it was dead already okay but I'll just go and prune in this one a bit shorter and then this one up there and this one all shortened there and there's a branch here that grows directly downwards I'll be taking off yeah this branch is also now going over the pot so I'll just be taking it back to there this branch is way too low so I'm gonna take that one off don't need a low branch like this Just like that, and it's off. There's a branch growing directly upwards into the other branches. Um, I'll be taking it off From there. Another branch growing upwards. Yeah, I'll take off this whole part that's growing upwards because you can't really see it from the front anyway. Now I'll take off this part completely, the back. And that shortens the tree. I think I'm going to leave it for now like this. See what grows, what doesn't. Um, and then you can always make more changes later but you can never put put branches back so rather rather take off a little by little and then instead of just taking a lot off and then regretting it later thank you for watching the reporting of this black monkey thorn landscape um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and uh, make sure to subscribe for more weekly videos. Thank you and until next time, cheers.